Hi, and welcome to day four of Simplifying Fractions. Today we're going to talk about what happens <clears throat> or how do we know if a fraction is already in its simplest terms, meaning there is no greatest common factor except for one, which isn't really going to help us. So let's look at some examples and why this happens. A lot of the time, this is gonna happen, it's gonna happen with odd numbers, and it's going to happen, um, at least one of the numbers has to be odd in order for this, for it to already be simplified. And if both of them are odd, um, that's a higher likelihood. And if they're both prime numbers, like this one, then you're not going to be able to simplify. So these are both prime numbers. So we have one times 11, and this one only has one times 17. So their greatest common factor is one, which means this cannot be simplified. So we would say already simplified. That would be our, our answer for that because we cannot continue to simplify it, okay? What about a number like this, it's a little bit different. This is still just one and three, one times three, because it's a prime number. But 32 has one and 32. It has two and 16. It has um, four and eight. It doesn't have five, it doesn't have six, it doesn't have seven, eight, nine, well, we already did eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so here are the factors. Their greatest common factor is still one. And because this is a prime number, if three doesn't go into 32, then you know that's already simplified because the three is a prime number. So this one is three, 30 seconds. Well, 330. 3 over 32, as lots of people would say it. Okay, so let's check out another one. So we know this is prime. 1 and 5 is, are the only factors. And then 12 has a few. So 1, 12, 3, and 4, and 2, and 6. Okay, so it doesn't really matter that it has all those factors because it doesn't have any that five have. Five doesn't go into it because if, if you, if the numerator is a prime number and it doesn't go into the denominator, then you know that it's already simplified as far as it can go. So that one would just end up being five twelfths and that's it. So yeah, that's, um, I just want you to practice today and see that some numbers are some fractions can be simplified and some can't. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.